Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading for the first half of October from the 1st all the way through the 15th. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout the reading. So let's go ahead and begin and take a look at that energy for the first half of October. I'll pull from On the Horizon Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Alright guys, so let's see what's coming in for you. We have Purify, okay? So it's like this cleansing that you're being directed to maybe do. Cleansing, letting go, releasing perhaps, cleaning up that energy. We also have Third Eye, okay? So this is tapped into your intuition. Let's go ahead and grab one more. So there could be something significant when it comes to the third eye chakra. That could be significant. Let's get one more. And then we have time as money. So what I get from that, Sagittarius, is you're not wanting to waste your time. Okay, whether it's work related, whether it is love related, you know, your time is precious. So let's go ahead and see what it is that we can learn for you. So I'll pull from my Celestial Cosmos Tarot. And finances could also be very impactful for you. So let's see. Trust your gut in all aspects. In, in a way, you're, you're starting with a clean slate, I feel. We do have the Seven of Pentacles right here. Hard work pays off. Perseverance, yes. So you could very well be a very hard worker and you're very dedicated maybe to your, your career, your vocation, your life purpose, as well as the people in your life, whether that's romantic involvements, families, friendships, you know, whatever that is. This is you putting in the effort, putting in the work. The Seven of Pentacles, it's also what I like to call my wait and see card. So if something just isn't transpiring in your life right now, just give it some time. Let's see what else here. What else for Sagittarius? We have the Three of Wands. So I really like that. This is about expansion. This is about looking ahead. So three of wands in love and romance could also be perhaps a relationship that is in the infant stages. It's like a budding relationship. There's room for growth. There's room for that expansion to really explore the future and what it can hold for you and this person. So it really does tie into your intuitive nature to be able to trust what you're feeling when it comes to that individual or situation. Take a look at this. We've got the Page of Pentacles. All right. So this is someone who's very ambitious. They seize the opportunity. This could very well be your own energy right now. Time is money. You're going after opportunities. You're not going to let them pass you by. You're willing to work hard to do whatever it is that's necessary for you to succeed. So I really like that for you. Look at this. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is manifestation, Sagittarius. That's beautiful. Finances look amazing, I must say. So the first half of October, maybe job opportunities. It could be a new job. It could be a promotion. It could be you coming into some money. You know, um, I just feel very lucrative energy tied into that. And there's something, there's this newness about it. So it's like a new chapter for some of you guys. Now, when it comes to your romantic life, the Ace of Pentacles could also be a fresh start for some of you. And it's giving you the necessary stability in a relationship. It could even be a solid offer of marriage or of commitment. So that looks really good. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. What else we can learn for Sagittarius? All right, I'll be pulling from the Yin Yang Love Oracle deck by Angelic Revelation 144. For Sagittarius. First half of October. All right, 
we have renewed faith okay so maybe you've experienced some heartache and love and romance and have lost faith but there's somebody here that may touch your heart touch your life in a way that it really does renew your faith in the whole concept of relationships and love connections what else please for sagittarius we have friendship okay now some of you guys as i've mentioned it could be a fairly new connection you guys could still be in the friend zone right now or it's a friendship that's quickly developing into something more than that we do have happiness and then we have declared love so i feel this especially for those of you who are right now exploring the friendship but are really interested in each other romantically i feel when you guys are together you do make each other very happy and in time okay they might ultimately express how they're really feeling about you and the love that they have for you in their heart space and this is a sagittarius reading so i can't help but pick up off of the same type of energy as the temperance card which picks up off of sagittarius which is about patience so maybe in time and possibly during Sagittarius season is when this person might find the courage to be able to tell you how they really are feeling about you. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else. I'll be pulling from my modern day Sears Tarot and Oracle Tarot with a twist. So the twist here is that it includes new Oracle messages as well as new court cards in addition to all of the usual Tarot messages. All right, and it's really fun to learn with this deck. It's got upright and reversed meanings. So for those who are newbies and really wanting to learn for yourself, maybe this deck could help you. So we do have the Angel of Hope. I love this considering the Renewed Faith card. And it does say you've lost your way, your sense of direction, which way is up, which way is down, which way takes you away from who you are, and which way shows you the path you're meant to travel. This is not the end. I am here to help restore the faith within you to let you know that there is a ray of sunshine, a glimmer of hope that you fail to see. Open your eyes. I am here. So don't lose faith in the whole concept of love because I feel things will ultimately improve. Look at this. We also have the Empress representing the Divine Feminine. We do have the Hierophant representing Taurus for some of you guys. We've got Archangel Raphael. Check this out. We've got the Emperor. So Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, both showing up here. And then we have the Red Rose card coming through. So what this is telling us, now for some of you, this could be a new love. We've seen that energy. For some of you, this could be a perhaps, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, a reconciliation a reunion between two people who might have been separated but this right here is the commitment that is being brought in you know so if somebody did have commitment issues i feel there's been a shift in that energy okay that renewed faith letting you know that they're here for the long haul perhaps and we do have archangel raphael i am the angel that heals all wounds are you nursing a broken heart i am here to assist on your healing journey let me remove the emotional baggage you've been carrying to lighten the burden from past relationships that are weighing you down let me help you heal your heart your mind your soul your body i'm here to aid in restoring your self-confidence a healthy self-image and to bring peace back in your life so i really love this because again the two of you representing divine counterparts right here okay and so it's just a matter of time before a reunion certainly is possible where you guys can find your way back to each other and then we do have the red rose card deep love new love eternal love fiery passion and red hot chemistry it is falling in the upright there so all of these things coming in for sagittarius it looks pretty good it looks amazing actually bottom of the deck we've got the three of cups this represents celebrations it could represent a reunion for some there's that very happy vibe attached to it we've got the happiness card right there it does represent a positive outcome here and look at this the card right after that is the sun more happiness followed by the wheel of fortune i mean this is a part of your destiny to find this happiness sagittarius that looks amazing i love it all right so if that's just not where things have been just know that in time 
and maybe during Sagittarius season is when this can all unfold. If it doesn't happen the first half of October, just hang tight. I have a feeling things are going to start changing. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some final messages from your angel guides here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius. All right, here we go. So we have Isabella. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectations. I love it. So for some of you guys, this is the right time. Okay, now for others, I feel you're going to have to wait. You know, just give it a little bit more time. But for others, it seems to be this is it. This is the right time. All right. We also have Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. So miracles are on your side here. Sagittarius, that looks amazing. Keep moving forward. No setbacks, you know. And then we have Rosetta. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. That's a very specific message, of course. Take it if it makes sense for you or if you're drawn to that. All right, guys, so I will leave that there. Hopefully there's something here that resonates with you. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below in the description box. And I'd love for you to join us on Wednesday for our super chat live stream where you'll be able to get your own personal mini reading from me. All right, guys. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for being here, for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.